make an exception. We then got two areas that we're watching in the tropics for low end chances of development. The first one that we've been talking about, Invest 90. This is going to move across Florida. And the other is in the eastern Pacific, kind of an area we were talking about yesterday within that Central American gyre. You can get areas to develop in both basins from that gyre. Looks like we might get one to break off and move into the eastern Pacific. But the one of more interest to us is in the eastern Gulf off the west coast of Florida. There is very little chance of any development uh, as it is in the Gulf and then moving over Florida. No organization, really just an unorganized area thunderstorm, certainly bringing them some heavy rainfall. We're looking at the buoys, kind of a broad area of kind of that anticyclonic uh, rotations or, or cyclonic rotation. So there may be some kind of little surface low trying to form, but it's going to struggle in a very hostile environment. Eventually that system will move into the open Atlantic waters, and that may be where we could see some further development, probably not until Thursday or Friday. Here's what's going on across the Gulf of Mexico. We got strong wind shear and very dry air. If we keep the Gulf looking like this all year long, or at least through the uh, rest of hurricane season, we'd be in great shape. Very hostile out there, and most of the model guidance indicates that kind of broad low may try and organize a bit more once it gets further into the Atlantic. Now for us, we could be trying to see something try and form down in the Bay of Campeche from within that Central American gyre. Really all that is going to do for us us is help enhance that tropical moisture surge our way toward the end of the weekend and next week. Not really looking at anything developing. What we're looking at is what will be heavy rainfall over Florida, eventually moving our way, possibly starting Sunday, Monday and Tuesday of next week. The models, though, are still not in great agreement with just how much rainfall we see, where exactly that swath of some of the heaviest moisture actually goes. This is what the GFS is indicating maybe some of those scattered storms and certainly more cloudiness beginning on Father's Day Sunday and sticking with us Monday and on into Tuesday. The Euro maybe not quite as much rainfall, but at least there is agreement with the cloud cover and moisture surging our way. So we will begin to see our rain chances increasing. The big question is just how much this is kind of an amalgamation of models. We're looking at down in South Florida from central to South Florida anywhere from five to 10 inches of rainfall. Now for us, we could see anywhere from three to even four to five inches of rainfall, but that really would not begin until Sunday. So Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, we could see some rainfall accumulations in that excess of three to five inches. That could lead to some flooding as of right now, though, Weather Prediction Center not going out seven days and not highlighting anything in North across the North Gulf Coast for any kind of flooded concerns. We'll be watching that again. Not really looking at a threat of tropical development. We'll have to watch for the heavy rainfall threat. As far